For reasons that no one can remember, in the late 70s, Alembic sent pickups to Araya Pro, Matsumoko Guitars, in Japan to install on a line of basses and guitars. The pickups were the same ones installed in the Alembic guitars of their day. The bass and the RS750 had passive outputs. The RS850 and the higher line bass had the, an active preamp very similar to what's installed in an Alembic. We're going to explore the capabilities of that preamp in this Araya Pro RS850 guitar. The pickups themselves are quite high fidelity bright single coils with no hum due to the dummy coil. When the switches on the tone controls are in the up position, they act like traditional tone controls. just cutting highs. When the switches are in the middle and lower positions, they introduce an active circuit, which is a low-pass filter with gain. This results in a brighter initial tone and a different behavior as the tone control is turned down. jazzy kind of sound. You can hear a little bit of the wah effect as I turn the volume or the tone knob back up again. With the switch in the down position, the effect is even more extreme. pick up the almost wah-like effect that it has. With the pickup selector in the middle position, you can use combinations of these sounds to get quite varied tones. also appears to be active so you don't lose much high end when turning the volume down. The guitars are durable, well built, less ornate than the Alembics on which they're based with less uh, dramatic tone woods on the top and not quite the ornamentation on the headstock. The electronics are probably not as well built as the Alembic versions if for no other reason than the circuit board is smaller and there is a rather uh, complicated ribbon connector with an edge uh, pin connector on it. But all in all, it's a very good sounding guitar, a very interesting tone, and certainly cheaper than uh, any Alembic you're going to find. One other peculiarity is that it doesn't respond as well to overdrive pedals as some other guitars that I've played. to the distortion there as it dies away that isn't present with the majority of my other guitars using the same pedal. For this reason, it seems to be most effective played directly into an overdriven amp or played clear.